79-year-old Alex Shibley is originally from Switzerland, but the retiree now calls City Island his home and regularly paddles about a quarter mile away from it to his own sanctuary, the last privately owned island in the city called Rat Island. For the Swiss, a landlocked, in a landlocked country, to own an island is like a dream. Though it has a crass name, Shibley says there are no rodents here. He purchased the land with a friend about eight years ago for $176,000. It's a nice place. Uh, to relax. It used to be an escape for artists and writers. A few homes were even built on it. The last one was knocked down in 1938. Now, Shibley's family uses it for picnics and an artist donated a William Tell statue. But recently, a new idea came his way. I was not looking for building there. I was not looking for selling it. Designers and developers coming up with concepts to turn the island into a retreat center for yoga, fishing, or canoeing, sparking Shibli's curiosity. I think the interest of having a place that one can go to find peace, 30 minutes away from Central Park. Pablo Jendretsky came up with these renderings. It shows 10 wooden cabins that would be rented out each night. Structures in the island that will not completely overwhelm the environment. The island is about two acres, but with high tide is less than a half, so Shibley says that may cause a problem. He also insists it must be completely sustainable. Solar thermal, solar electric, compost toilets. An island retreat off a concrete jungle. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.